this video, we're going to demonstrate the A star path planning algorithm in Java. So this is a little Java library I wrote in 2005. It needs updating, but we'll use it as is for now. So the topics covered in this tutorial, cloning the A star Java code repo, compiling the Java program, then we'll run the A star driver program. We'll load a sample grid, and then we'll add started endpoints to that grid, and then finally we'll calculate the A star path. So let's get started. So as natural, the first thing we're going to do is go to the Blackmagic um, AI website. And then, like once again, if you scroll down to the uh, social media bar, uh, we want to click on the GitHub account. So that's where we're going to find the code for this. All right. And like I said, I'm going to be in this video, I'll demonstrate the driver program that shows how it works and how you can use it. All right, and there it is, the A star. So we'll click on that repository, and then we'll clone it. And like I said, uh, here's some detailed instructions on how to compile it and everything, but we'll cover some of that in this video. Uh, but the main thing we want to do now is uh, copy the link so we can clone it. So I'm going to go to my command line. So once again, this is a Java command line program. Now you can add it to like a website or any other kind of um, interface you want to use. So it's generic enough it can be used in any type of interface, but command line is the default here. So I'm going to do a git clone, then I'm going to paste that uh, github URL. Alright, so it's uh, clone the repo and let's take a look at it. Alright, so there it is, the A star repo code. So I'm going to cd into it. All right, then there's the Java version of it. Uh, like I said, there may be a Python coming soon. All right, and then there's the A star, the Java A star directory for it. So let's see the end of that one. Oops, typo. All right, there we go. So we can see the um, A star driver program which is the program I wrote so demonstrates how you can use the classes in the com uh, blackmagic AI.ASTAR package. So inside this com folder, are those are the classes you need. So this is the package you would incorporate in your own Java projects. Uh, the, A the ASTAR driver program is just something um, to, uh, the ASTAR driver program is just uh, something to demonstrate how it's used. All right, and I have some text files here, so I'll explain those later. So um, you can, this driver program, we can manually generate code or we can, um, our, I mean our uh, grid, or we can uh, create one online and, and uh, read it from a file, text file. But first thing we wanna do is to uh, compile it. So just to compile it, uh, we go Java, a star. Do that. And I'll ignore that for now. <laughs> Let's say you didn't see that. Like I said, 2005. Don't judge. All right. And then the next thing we want to do is uh, I'm going to clear the screen first so we can have a clear screen. And then I'm going to run it. So I'm going to do Java. A star driver program because that's the compile program and then run it. So the first thing we have a little menu with two options here. So we can manually create a grid. I'll show that separately and we can load from a file. So I already have some default files in there. So let's try load from a file. That's the quickest one. All right. So here I can enter the name of a text file I want, but if I don't have one, um, I can just use the default one. So if I don't, if I just put enter and don't uh, type in a file name, text file, it will just use the default. So let's do that for now. All right, and there's our little maze grid. So if you want to know where I, uh, how I created this, we can go to the GitHub and right here is a link is where I generated that um, file. 
so we can click that and that's this website the maze generator um, you can put in um, number of corridors width and height uh, everything else leave the default because I've kind of customized the code for the default settings in this but it's just going to generate an ASCII file with the uh, information we need um, to create this maze and this maze is just like I said ASCII text um, if you remember ASCII art uh, something like that and then it's specially like processed in the uh, ASTAR driver program so that it can um, be used uh, by the ASTAR program all right so you see now each of the rows are numbered and the columns are numbered um, in, in uh, intervals of 10 all right, so the first thing it wants us to know is where do we want, we want to modify this. So in order to do uh, this A star, we have our maze, but we have to tell it the starting and the destination for our path. So that's how it's going to calculate a path. We give it a beginning and an end, and it'll figure out the path in between those two points. So I'm going to do the first point at the beginning. So that's going to be one row one, column one. And these are indexes, so they start at zero, so make sure you remember that. So I'm going to put one in for the row, one in for the column, and now I have to tell it the type of cell. So uh, since we already have a maze created, all I need is a start cell and a finish cell. So I'm going to create, I'm going to select one for a start cell. And if you see, it added a little ASCII circle there. So that's gonna be our starting point. Now it asks me, do I wanna add another cell? And yes, I do, because I wanna do the um, destination cell or end cell. And this one I'm gonna to put towards this other end of the maze where the output of the maze is. You can put it anywhere else in the maze, uh, but this will be the, for this demonstration, I'm gonna put it at uh, row 19. And then if you count at the top, each one of these is 10. When I, that's 10, 20, and that's 29. So I'm going to 29, which will get me at this uh, corridor. And now this is going to be a finished cell. So remember, you have to enter the coordinates and the type of cell. So this is a finished cell. And you can see here, now I have my endpoint. So this is a solid circle. The starting point is an open circle. So I do not want to create another cell, so I'm going to type in for no. Uh, and what this does, it exits editing mode and it goes right into the uh, A star calculation. So if I hit enter, all right, you can see now these little asterisks through the maze. That's the path that the A star algorithm, um, the solution that it found for a path between these. So like I said, this A star was like really useful for uh, robotics, like path planning. I mean, there's other things now, but this was way back in the day. That was a popular thing, but it's a good algorithm to uh, learn and study because a lot of like uh, one things that are used by now are kind of uh, based on this or built on this, this kind of concept. All right. So now we have another option. Uh, we can uh, manually create a grid. So in that case, we have to actually enter all the... Um, obstacles, walls, and then the starting and end point. So let's try that one just for a demo. It takes a little longer, so I'm just gonna do a simple one to start off with. So in this one, I have to enter uh, the size of the grid. So I'm just gonna do a, a 10 by 15. All right, so you can do a square grid, rectangular, it uh, doesn't matter, uh, but. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to build some like a wall, like my obstacle wall. So I'm going to put that kind of in the middle. So I'm going to put my row at four, column four. And this is where I tell it the type of cell. So now uh, I want to uh, build my obstacle. So I can do an easy cell, which is not much of an obstacle. Um, and it just gradually increases in um, the cost of going through this obstacle. So you may want to simulate different types of things in your grid or maze or environment with these different types of cells. But I'm going to do six, which is the block cell. So that's just like a solid barrier obstacle. Nothing uh, penetrates that. So if you have other uh, lower cost obstacles in the way, it may use those as a possible path for the solution, but 
now I'm just gonna do a block cell. So you see that in my block cell, I wanna add a couple more. So I'm just gonna go the next row, five, but then I'm gonna go to the same column. And this is once again gonna be a block cell. And let's put one more in, so let's say yes. And let's see, this will be six, four, and another block cell. So right, I have my little wall barrier. So now I'm gonna put a starting point on the left side of the wall. So let's put another cell. And let's say five, one. And let's make this a start cell, because now we wanna start the um, star. So you can see it put the open circle where our start is. And so now I have to put our end cell or destination cell. So let's put this on the other side of the wall, which will still be row five, but let's make it uh, column eight. Well, this is a finished cell. So there we have it. We have our starting point, our end point, and the little barrier in between. So you could, if you had more time, uh, you can make this more complex, but that's why I added the read from file feature so you can have automated tools generate your mazes for you. Uh, so add another cell, uh, no. So this will start the uh, algorithm processing. All right, and there you see it. Our little asterisk stars are the solution uh, for the path around the obstacles using the A star algorithm. Once again, there'll be updates uh, to this code and maybe some other uh, examples. Uh, I may do a Python version, so if you wanna uh, be uh, notified when that happens, subscribe to the YouTube channel, um, sign up for our email list, or like our Facebook page. All right, till next time, that concludes this video.